So, what are we talking about today? Well, every three months we have an opportunity, my wife and I, we go to the Wassa Museum of Contemporary Art. We help tear down the show, box it up, and then unpack the new show. We don't usually help hanging the new show, but we do lots of boxing and unboxing. And yesterday it took us 12, 13 hours just to put the art back into the boxes, seal them up, organize them, and unbox the new art. You put it right here for now, okay? And then all of that stuff in that room can come out into the middle gallery. Then this stuff will go back into that room, but it's going to be divided with uh, has shipping labels, doesn't have shipping label. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And I've got like, I've got What I do want to talk to you artists about, or anyone that ships stuff, is have some pride in what you do. I mean, there are some paintings that we boxed up. They were anywhere from $1,100 to $70,000. And some of the boxes, it was like, a patchwork quilt. Okay, are you guys done yet? Are you sure? I'm still chewing with my mouth open. Kara. Kara. You're ignoring me. You have your art brain. Nothing else in the world matters. I mean, if this is you as an artist, when you're trying to box up your stuff, if you save every little bit of styrofoam, air pockets, plastic bubbles, cardboard, filler paper that you got from your birthdays, or from Christmas that you're saving in a big plastic bag, just in case you get to ship your artwork, don't put it in with your artwork. It doesn't make it look good. We've seen some artwork that was spectacular and it was just in the most crappiest box. Just, it looked like it came out of a trailer house tornado. And we couldn't believe it. And that's why we were there for about 12 to 13 hours, is because some boxes were really nice. We cut the tape, unfolded it, and the artwork just popped out. It was amazing. I'm sure they paid plenty good for the box. And some, it, it took us about 15, 20 minutes just to unwrap it. It was like a Russian nesting doll. It was just layer after layer of wax paper and then uh, packaging paper and then styro some even had styrofoam peanuts. Don't ever use styrofoam peanuts to package your art. You don't want to do that. It makes it cheap. And it gets everywhere. It's styrofoam peanuts are kind of the uh, how's a nice way to say it? The, the herpes of the art museum. You don't want it. Don't use styrofoam peanuts. Don't use styrofoam. It, no. It just wa watch the cartoon movie with John Travolta, Bolt. Styrofoam will zap all your powers. You don't want it. Styrofoam! No, no. All the boxes are with their perspective pieces. That's me. I'm not a professional painter. But I do a lot of boxing and unboxing to help out, as does my wife gallery they're all ready to be packaged back up so gallery two all good to go and the same in this one Okay, how's it going for boxing? Um, <sighs> Good. 
<sighs> she puts it in just <sighs> around hour what? Five? Maybe. Yeah. But the place is getting cleaned up. Where are you? We're cruising. All clear. Looks so lonely in here. Hey, video of a white wall. This will make me popular. One gallery left. The whole show is down. And now everything is stacked nice and neat. To this little room. Everything's stacked nice. Stuff with a shipping label on one side. Stuff that needs to be shipped on the other side. All nice and respectful. Light ones on top, heavy ones on the bottom. Nearly phenomenal cosmic power went eedy bitty 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 bitty. Don't go crazy rapping it. I know you love your art. We all love our own art. But, you know, a, a little bit does go a long way. When you package it up, you, you really need to understand that somebody has to unbox your stuff, put it away, and then try to reuse it and box it back up the way it was to ship it back to you. So when you package it up, just, you know, pretend you're in school and you're getting graded on this. You know, you're in a shop class, you build the project, whether it's a table or you did a painting. And you have, part of your project is now you have to make a box for it. Your teacher's like, no kids, you have to make a box for your project. And yes, you will be graded on your box. Have that in your mind when you do it. Uh, there's one painting, there wasn't any padding on it. It was just two pieces of masonite taped together like a sandwich, like a sad mayonnaise sandwich. You, you don't want to do that. Take some pride in it. Pretend you're going to be graded. You look down at your project like, oh, this is a good box. I'm going to give myself a B plus. Well, chances are everybody's going to be happy because it goes to the art museum. And then the people at the art museum love your painting that much more because you made it easy for them. They have to unbox it and box it back up and then store your box. It has to get shipped through the mail. The people that are probably, you know, Well, what did we learn from yesterday? Package your stuff up, take time. Pretend you're getting it graded by a teacher. You're in school again. Take your time, make a nice box or get a box. Don't patchwork quilt it. We have to take it apart and put it back together. It, it's irritating, aggravating, and asinine. Well, I know I didn't show you how to make a crate or how to box up a piece of artwork, but I have lots of experience taking them out and putting them in, as do my wife, as do the other people at the Wasser Museum of Contemporary Art. So I'll have that in the back of your mind when you're doing it. Definitely protect your art, but at the same time, know that other people have to take it apart and put it back together. So I hope you learned something today. And if you didn't, rewatch the video. Why not? You don't learn everything right away. Why am I ranting? I'm sorry, I get angry. <sighs> well, thanks for joining in and listening to me talk about stuff that might be important to you. And if it's not, I hope you enjoyed the video anyways. More to come. I don't know what the next one's going to be on. Maybe I'll actually make a crate or a stretcher or something. I make lots of stuff. I don't know. My mind's just random. I'm getting really nervous right now because I'm talking into a camera. I'm sorry. I'm still figuring my life out. I think I should end this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to end this. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, whatever you do. I don't know. I haven't even posted a video yet and this is supposed to be video number three. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. See you next time. Bye. I mean, it's like a Big Mac box back in the 80s, a little foam container that looks like an engagement ring. I do. Videos are still hard. 
I'll never get to hang it. Well, I will, but who am I talking to? Talk to a camera. Okay, it's a camera. It's awkward. I know people will eventually see this, but for me it's weird. It's just a camera in my wood shop. <laughs> Frick. It's bad. It's bad, okay? Hi. How you doing? I just sat down. I'm comfortable. Stop talking. Stop talking. Do I care? I think I do. Editing. It's gonna be good for this video. That sounded pretty good. Thanks, Mike Rowe.